Love here, and I just wanted to share with you um, some boho shabby chic beads that I made using my BB Craft goodies. They're just so super cute. My camera never wants to focus. Excuse my fingernails. I was also painting today. But anyway, um, these were so much fun. They were easy to make and super cute. So I hope that you will stick around for the tutorial and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks everybody. I started with a wooden dowel about three inches long and I'm using 25 gauge wire. That's just what works for me. And I'm leaving about an inch to an inch and a half on one end and then I'm wrapping the wire all the way around the wooden dowel and then I'm going to leave at the other end an inch to an inch and a half um, there too. So I have a good bit um, hanging off of each end. So now I'm going to use one of the various beautiful rondelles from BB Crafts because I've got the one that comes in all the sizes. So you're going to need a couple of bigger size beads and then the rondelle of your choice. And I'm going to stick on the rondelle and then the bead onto one end. And you don't have to worry if it's just not going to sit straight in the beginning. Once the bead is finished, it'll be fine. Because that was driving me crazy at first, so don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, it works itself out. And now um, on the end, I'm just going to curl that down. And um, that can be the place where you hang it from or you can uh, dangle something from it. So I'm just going to work that around to hold those, that bead and rondelle in place. And now I'm just going to do the exact same thing to the other end. There we go, so cute already. Right now I'm just gonna take some strips of fabric and I'm gonna be wrapping them around the bead and I'm just gonna hold it in place at the beginning strip with some hot glue. And then um, when I'm finished at the end, I'm also gonna um, hot glue it closed. I just wrap round and round. I mean, you could use seam binding to do that or ribbon, I mean, anything. That's what's fun about these is you can just, you know, use just about anything and they're gonna be cute. And I am doing this video in real time so that you can see how quick and easy they are to do. So you're just going to wrap the fabric over the whole skewer, covering up all the wire, and it's kind of going to hold the wire in place.
now we are going to add some beads. So you're going to want to um, take your wire and I do about three times the size because you want to have a uh, you know, extra wire for this step. So, um, so I'm guessing this is a, a, approximately nine inches of wire. So just, you know, roughly three times the length. And I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna curl up one end to make a hook and also to keep the beads from falling off the end, which I'm sure I would have done without the uh, helpful tip of Angel Dream Crafts. Thank you, Kim. <laughs> for keeping my beads on my wire and there is a link to Kim's tutorial below she's uh, the one who showed me how to do this so I am just adding some of my BB craft beads and then um, beads of all kinds of uh, shapes and sizes and I'm even adding some iridescent sequins you could add seed beads I mean you could just you, you put whatever you want on here. keep adding beads until it is about um, you know the length 
and a quarter of the bead. And then I'm going to uh, wrap the end to make another hook. And you want all that extra wire because you're gonna like scooch the beads down the wire and spread them out as you twist them around the bead, which was a little bit awkward, <laughs> but it's beautiful. So that's what you're gonna do. You're just gonna wrap the wire and the beads around and around and sh scooch the beads along the wire and spread them out a little bit. I actually scooted them all to the end and ended up having to unroll a little bit, I think, and uh, rewrap, but that's easy enough to do. So you just wrap down one way and then up the other. Sorry, I got out of shot there. And then you're just gonna squeeze the end tight around the bead. So it's beautifully beaded now. And now you could add any kind of fibers or threads or anything like that you'd like to. I'm going to um, add this white fuzzy fiber that I had laying around and I'm just going to weave it in and out of the beads and around the skewer. And I'm not sure how long a length I'm, I'm using. I had these pre-cut for a different project, but you just wrap it around until you're satisfied and add more or less. Now for the end, I am gonna secure it just a, with a little bit of hot glue. Just, you know, if you're using hot glue, be careful not to burn yourself. And there you go. It's just so cute. It's so cute. But I added one of the uh, connector metals that I got from BB Crafts and I added some pearls to the bottom and I am gonna dangle this off the end just as another added element. And I think they're just, they're so pretty. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I have a link to BB Crafts below. Please go check them out. They just have just a, an amazing array of crafty products and I'm thankful to have some to play with. So thank you everyone and I'll see you on the next one.